hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is glory and um, if you've not subscribed to my channel please do so before we proceed now i uh, know most before we proceed i would like to, us to know what kindle vela is because most of us have been hearing about kindle vela or you hear open a kindle vela account but you don't even know what you're going into well let me explain okay kindle vela is a relatively new platform that is launched by amazon in july 2021 that allows authors to publish their book in serialized formats okay it is a mobile online platform available through amazon kindle app or ios so basically these people that are, um publish or create stories or you see some of their books have episode one to episode 50 you know so kindle vela is what allows them do those kind of things or publish those kind of books you understand however however the reason why we are now here talking about kindle vela is because of the recent blocks going on okay but i need us to understand that kindle vela is not available for nigerians in fact is as a matter of fact is only available for only those strictly those in the united states yes strictly those in the united states alone and as funny as it may sound only when you publish a book on kindle vela only those in the united states are there to buy your book but then again because of the recent blocking going on trust nigerians to always find their way we now discover that those in the united states have minimal emphasis of minimal chances of getting their book block so i would say minimal or low chances doesn't mean if you don't if you don't do the right thing you won't get your book block if you don't uh, publish the right way or you don't publish your book the right way you're definitely going to get your book block okay so but with minimal chances when you do the right thing okay your book might not get blocked okay so now like i said only those in the united states can have access to the kindle vela which means if your account is on if you upload your details or update your details on united states you can now have those privileges that those that are in the united states also have and reduce your chances of getting your book block now for those of you that are new to kdp or don't understand what is going on here i'm going to explain if you get to this point and don't understand how i get to this point under this uh, video i'm going to upload my full video on how to open a kdp account so once you watch the video and you get to this part that is if you want to update your account to kindle vela which is not compulsion then when you get to this part on that video you can now come here to to get to where how i got to this point then continue from this place to update your kindle vela like i said kindle vela is only available for those in the us but that doesn't mean you cannot um that doesn't mean you um you cannot maybe when you're done opening the vela account maybe making your account be on the vela mode you cannot publish other books you can publish your non-fiction books or any other books you get so let us proceed to doing the thing that will now <laughs> sorry guys so let us proceed to the main details all right now first thing you do is to go to your account let me show you guys here this place they wrote your account click on it click on it like i said if you don't remember how i got to this point go under this video i'm going to put a link on how to create an amazon kdp account so with that video you can get how to you understand how to create the account to get to my dashboard just the way i already did here all right let me put my phone on desktop mode i click on this three dotted line i'll put it on desktop site so that the view is going to be broad all right so that the view is going to be broad Getting to this part, um, there are some things you need to know. First of all, you need to put your legal name. Now, you need to understand that the legal name has to match with the same name on your foreign account. Now, for you to open a foreign account, you know this is a Vela account we are trying to open. So, I would recommend either GeekPay or Clever. So, for this video, I'll be using a Clever account. If you don't know how to open a Clever account, under this video, I'm going to post a video that explains how to open a clever account and another thing you'll be needing a phone number all right and for you to get a phone number i'll be showing you how to get a phone number using a virtual sim so make sure that the name you're going to use corresponds okay correspond with that name on your foreign account it's very very important for you to note this okay and we are not going to be using a nigerian phone number take note of that all right as you can see here yeah, this thing this logo here is the logo of how to uh, virtual 
app which is virtual sim i'm gonna drop a, a, a link that will take you on how to get a virtual sim because obviously you cannot get it on play store so under this video also you're going to see a link that will take you on how to get a virtual sim now you're going to click that up there where there is a human listing you're going to get when you get to that place your profile you will see buy credit i already credited myself i think you'll be needing six euro or so sorry two euro yeah just use your crap your card any of your card Deb, um visa card master card go to google play store and make payment to get it for like two euro then you see this place they wrote my phone number right that place they wrote my phone number is the number i've already gotten so but for you to get a phone number what you need to do is to go to this place they wrote get new phone number all right get new phone number once you get to that place click on this place the road mobile number and go to united states click on united states i've personally i choose california so you can choose anyone you get a number once you click on that place you'll be required to pay that two euro you've already credited from where you bought credits and you get the number as you can see this is my own number that place the road phone number but i'm going to cover it because of youtube policies so that is the number um, you're going to use this place they wrote use number that's the number we are going to be using coming to this place you're required to fill in your name so let's now do those things fill in your legal name which i'm going to do right away okay um fill your legal name just the same way it is in your clever account that's the exact same way you're going to put it don't change anything enter address you're going to put in the address in your clever account um, um the address says united states then address line. I'm going to show you guys my own clever account and the address I use there so you can see it. So as you can see, this is my address on my clever account. So this is the address 9450 South West Germany Drive, Beverton or United States. So I'm just going to copy it and put it there. Copy it, put it there. You put see the address there. I'll just remove that last one they said beaver what is it called okay that is for the address then city city is um the city is beaverton why the state is oregon now that all they put there stands for oregon so whichever one your account details is go and look for it then that number at the last part there is your postal code so just go click on use this address and we are good okay now the next one they will tell us tell us about your bank which you're expected to, sorry, your phone number, before I forget, you're expected to put in your phone number, which you're going to get to that app, the virtual SIM. I already told you guys how to get phone number. Go to the virtual SIM, get your phone number, put it. I already put it at this stage. So um, where they say, tell us about your bank, is automatically at United States. Then put in your account number. You see it, account number, you enter the account number again routine number from your clever account or your geek pay account whichever one you're using you're going to see it there then for the date of birth make sure the date of birth matches the date of birth you use for your bank account please don't make all this mistake then account holder name all this information is is in your clever account put it there now for this place they said select address or enter new address please select existing address yes it's very important select existing address because the address already matches with the address we use from the beginning which is the oregon whatnot once you're done with that save then the next thing we need to do is to complete our tax interview okay you see our bank details has been saved for united states the next thing is for us to now complete tax interview so complete tax interview save and continue then for the next stage for some of you going to the tax interview is going to take like so long for you to be able to come to that stage but mine didn't take like five minutes but just in case your own takes too long just let it load make sure your screen is on it's not off so allow it load for the time is going to load then put in your details then you'll come to this stage okay so this place they said are you a u.s citizen click no are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment on behalf of another person or as if um flow through entry please click no you're not acting as anybody you're not receiving from somebody click no all right now the next stage tax and um, this place will pop up where they will say full name and country of citizenship so you're going to put your own nigeria because if you put united states you're going to require to put all this irs information and you would not want that 
please, because you know, United States is not a country you joke with. So just could change your own to Nigeria, please, because we are from Nigeria. That is for um permanent address, right? Sorry, country of citizenship. Mm. I'm mistaken. Permanent address. Make sure you put your country, Nigeria. If you're in Ghana, put Ghana. If you're in Nigeria, put Nigeria. Now, the place where they now said country of citizenship, um, the place for country of citizenship, please go and put, or rather, permanent address. I'm making a mistake here. Permanent address, South Africa. Country of citizenship, which is your country. Your main details there should be Nigeria. Permanent address, change it to South Africa. If you don't know how to get a South African address, I'm going to show you how you can get a South African address. Just make sure you go to your browser, come to your browser and type um, South African address. So once you click on South Africa address, it's going to bring up this random South African address, which you're going to click and select from the options there so we're just going to pick in the distinct streets and um, i'm going to pick between street and city so just know what you're picking come here choose any of the random distinct there then put city we'll put the city um the address line first okay that i that we copied then the city we'll put the city then the states just remove the one that is here already Go back, get the state. The state here says Mpulanga or something like that. So you're going to get the state. All right. Get our zip code and we come. Put the zip code and the state. So put our state and we put our zip code. So you see here, mailing address, same as permanent address. Yes. Just leave it same as permanent address. Okay, don't do any other thing. Then South African tax and education number, please. It's very important. Just use any random number you have, like your NIN number or um, BVN number or something. Make sure you don't use the one that is related to anyone you've used before. As you can see, he wrote, I have a non-US citizen. So just pick any number and use. I'm just going to do this off the record. Put a number, come back, save and And you click on continue. Once you're done putting the number, then uh, you see here uh, the selected country qualifies for treaty benefits. You click on confirm, you're eligible for the treaty benefits. This is for those of us that don't want them to remove 30% withholding rates. Now, for those of you that be asking why South Africa, if you don't do this, they are going to be removing that 30%. Okay. Come here, certify that I have the capacity to sign. Put in your full name, that same name, yes, your full name, the same name in your bank. That is what you're going to put here. All right, don't make that mistake. Don't go and switch A for B and B for C. Just the same way it is there. That's the same way you're going to copy it and paste here. All right, just put in your name, then come submit form. All right, once you submit the form, you're going to see now that they are going to remove that thirty percent withholding rate, which means I think we don't we didn't do those uh, uh, tax thing. They are not going to do it for us. As you can see, your tax information has been received successfully. And just come here, exit interview. They want me to put in my details. I'm going to do this off the record, come back. So you see, applicable withholding rates, 0%. Just save. Once you're done saving, go and click on your bookshelf. Click on bookshelf. And voila. Voila, we now have those two options, which is the Kindle Vela option and the normal option that allows you create um non-fiction books so with this you can create see it here new manage kindle vela stories you can create uh, stories with episode those that do stories storybook uh -huh, with episode you can create it remember if you're doing publishing a storybook it will be available to only those in the united states or you click on the normal one to put non-fiction book you can put any type of book here okay once you click on create put your book either the kindle version paperback anything you want to upload you can upload it and it's available to the wider audience all right i hope you enjoyed this video and you got value like so if you do enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and subscribe i believe this video was helpful comment on the section uh, comment section that it was helpful let me know if this video was helpful to you and don't forget again subscribe subscribe